Hi, Assalamualaikum. With me again, Teacher Rin. Today, we will learn Mathematics Form 3, Chapter 1, Indices, 1.1, Index Notation. In this video, we will learn how to represent repeated multiplication in index form and rewrite a number in index form and vice versa. In Form 1, you have learned what is repeated multiplication. Do you remember? Let us look at what is repeated multiplication. So, here is 4 cubed or 4 to the power of 3. What is the meaning of 4 cubed? 4 to the power of 3 is the same as 4 times 4 times 4, isn't it? From what we have learned before, 4 to the power of 3, we call it as an index form of the number. So, each of the number represents something. What is this? Okay, 4 is the base of the index number. And then, 3 is the index of the index number. We usually use A for the base and N for the index. A to the power of N, we call it as index notation or index form. To make it clear, index notation consists of base and index. Okay, 4 times 4 is equal to 4 to the power of 2. What is the relationship between these two um, expression okay 4 times 4 and 4 to the power of 2 4 to the power of 2 and 4 times 4 has some relation which is 4 times 4 means 4 is multiplied 2 times repeatedly yeah all right and then 4 to the power of 2 is the index so here we can see that the value of index is the same with the number of index, sorry, with the number of time for multiplied repeatedly. Okay, boleh? Means, 4 darab 4 didarabkan, okay, maksudnya 4 didarabkan 2 kali tu. And then, adalah bersamaan dengan nilai bagi index 4 itu, iaitu 2. Bila 4 kuasa 2 bermaksud 4 darab 4, ada 2 kali 4 digunakan. Okay, alright, good. So, 4 times 4 times 4. I'm sure you can relate this with what I've told you um, before, alright? So, here, 4 times 4 times 4 is 4 to the power of 3. Because 4 times 4 times 4 repeated 3 times. Okay, the same as the upper one. The value of index 3 is the same as the number of time 4 multiplied repeatedly, which is 3. Alright. Let us move on to example 1. Write the following repeated multiplication in index form A to the power of N. Please remember that A is base and N is the index. Index means how many times it is repeated. Alright, so A. A, 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. Okay, there are 6 times, right? Alright, so the answer is 5 to the power of 6. Okay. B, 0 0.3 to the power of 4. Okay. Then C, negative. Uh, 2, negative 2, okay, we must put it in bracket because negative number and uh, fraction number must be put, okay, must be placed in a bracket to put the index, alright, to make it um, easier for you to do any operation after this, okay, so negative 2 to the power of 3, Alright, for question D, we can see here is in fraction form, which is 1 over 4. 
right so 1 over 4 if we want to put in index form or index notation we need to put it in bracket so the answer for this is 1 over 4 in bracket or parenthesis to the power of 5 okay so e the answer is m to the power of 7 because m is multiplied repeatedly seven times how about f the same as others you just need to calculate how many times it repeats okay one two three four five six seven eight so eight time means the answer is n to the power of eight okay that's all for this part where we try to represent repeated multiplication in index form all right so now we go further to the next part which is how to convert a number if we've given a number and we want to convert it to index form to convert any number to index form there are two methods that you can use okay the first method is called repeated division methods the second one is repeated multiplication method let us look at repeated division method first. Example 2. Write 64 in index form using base 2, base 4 and base 8. So in this question, actually, there are three sub-questions. Means that you must uh, write 64 in index form using base 2, the first question, and then base 4, second question, okay? And then base 8. Okay, kamu kena buat uh, base 2, base 4 dan base 8. So, let us look at what we need to do uh, using uh, the repeated division method. Okay, repeated division method. Kaedah uh, pen pembahagian berulang. Okay. Seperti yang kita dah pelajari sebelum ini, LCM and um, HCF. Alright, you, you have seen... Uh, some sort of method like this right okay so 64 divide by okay to divide by what uh, you need to look at the question okay for example this one 2 because it said that base of 2 right so base of 2 you need to divide by 2 okay 64 divide by 2 you will get 32 okay 32 what you need to do is divide by 2 again okay until okay uh, 32 divide by 2 you will get 16 then 16 you divide by 2 you will get 2 what you need to do until you get all right just divide by 2 until you get the final result or answer here okay you get 1 as the final okay so that's it the method is um the method hence there all right so how to write it in the in index form okay what you need to do is you calculate okay how many times this two repeat okay all right so it's repeat how many times one two three four five six so there are six and there okay do uh dia dia ulang enam kali lah all right so how to write it okay 64 okay 64 ini jika kita tukar kepada base of 2 k okay, 2 tapi ia adalah kuasa berapa kuasa 6 nampak tak maksudnya dia ulang enam kali so 64 equals to 2 to the power of 6 boleh ikut all right okay tak apa kita tengok pula base of 4 okay base of 4 the same method, just kamu bahagikan dengan 4 pula. 64 divided by 4. Okay, 4. Alright, you get 16. And 16, you divide by 4 again until you get final 1. Okay, until you finish dividing it, until you get 1. Okay, so the same. You calculate how many here. Okay, how many time here, which is n equals to 3. So, the answer is 64 equals to 4. Okay, 4 base there. Okay, 4 to the power of 3. Means how many time it 
repeat okay i think you can do for base 8 right okay i show you i show you quickly okay base 8 means 64 you divide by 8 and you get answer 8 right then divide again until you get 1 so only two times here okay when only two times so the answer is 64 equals to 8 to the power of 2 okay because here two times right and then the base is 8 all right okay that is how you use repeated division method okay let us uh, look at the same question but using another method which is repeated multiplication method iaitu method ataupun kaedah pendarapan berulang all right Apa yang perlu kita buat di sini? Yang pertama adalah base of 2. Okay, base of 2 means kamu perlu darabkan. You need to multiply 2. Okay, 2 darab 2 until you get 64. Means like this lah. Okay, 2 times 2, we got 4. Okay, then times another 2. So, berapa? 4 times 2, 8. Okay, belum dapat 64. Eh? You, will, uh, you don't get 64 yet. Okay, so you need to continue repeatedly multiply the base. Okay, maksudnya dua tu kena ulang-ulang darab until you get berapa? 64, not yet. Okay, you have got 64 there. So, how many times here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 64 equals to 2 to the power of 6. It is, uh, it means that six, uh, 2 is multiplied 6 times to get 64. Alright. Okay. Move on, on uh, to base 4. Right, base 4. 4 times 4, you get eight, uh, 16, sorry. And then you times another 4, you get 64. So you have already get 64 here so you need to stop there lah. all right then so the answer 64 equals to okay 4 to the power of 3 okay maksudnya 4 didarabkan 3 kali lah kuasa 3 all right okay kita tengok the base 8 okay if base 8 8 times 8 you get 64 so that's it no need to do any more multiplication there so the answer is 64 equals to 8 to the power of 2 because there are 2 8 here. Okay. So that's what you need to do if you are asked to write a number using certain base. Okay. Let us look at example 3. Write 32 over 3125 in index form using base of 2 over 5. Okay. So, uh... For this question, actually, 32, you need to um, change it at a re or rewrite it, okay, to the to the base 2. And then, 3125, you need to rewrite it using base 5, okay. Uh, right, so for this, using two methods that I have told you before, so we try to use division method first. Okay, I directly show you the um, solution here, okay, which is 32, okay. We do one by one, okay. The nominator first, okay, yang mana di atas dulu and then baru denominator ataupun di bawah. So, we do the 32 first, so 32 but the base is 2, okay. So, 32 divided by 2 until you get 1, so n here is 5, alright. And then, 3, 1, 2, 5, you uh, divide by 5 here until you get 1 also. So, actually, you will get the same N here. Okay, N means how many times lah, berapa kali dia diulang darabkan dia kan. Okay, so, dapat 5 kan. So, ini 3, 2, okay, 3, 2, bahagi 3, 1, 2, 5 ni. Okay, is equals to 2 over 5. Okay, tapi oleh kerana ni saya kata tadi di, um, di 
nah, at the beginning of the video eh right 2 over 5 okey uh, maksudnya adalah fraction okey fraction mesti letak dalam bracket so here bracket to the power of 5 betul tak n5 n5 so 5 juga sini maksudnya 2/5 ni kamu darab 5 5 kali okey kamu akan dapat 32/3125 boleh Okey, kita cuba pula dengan uh, kaedah Okey, betul eh. Okey, kaedah pendaraban berulang. Okey, ah uh, ini caranya di sinilah mendarabkan. Darab maksudnya ini terus. Okey, kamu ambil je 2/5 ni darab 2/5. Okey, dapat ini 4/5. Alright, darab lagi. Okey, times again and then you get 8 uh, per 1 to 5 and then again you get 16 6 to 5 and then again you get 32 3 1 to 5 so that that's it lah itu ada jawapannya kan jadi how many times 1 2 3 4 5 so you get 3 times there so the answer the same as what we do in division method before okay so yang mana lagi mudah which one you prefer whether multiplication or division up to you all right we will move on to example four actually it asks us to calculate the values okay if any question in uh, mathematics especially calculate the values mean you need to give an exact values all right maksudnya kena bagi nilai ha, so uh, ini two to the power of five means uh, 2 to the power of 5 maksudnya 2 darab 5 ah, ni lah 2 darab 2 2 darab 2 ok 2 times 2 5 times and then you will get the answer 32 alright the same as this 0 0.6 to the power of 3 ok what you should do is uh, darab je lah 3 kali and then you will get um, 0 0.216 actually they are Actually, there is uh, an easier way to get the answer by using calculator. Okay, let's look at the calculator. What you need to do is to key in the question 2 to the power of 5. But I'm sure uh, I... But I hope that you re still remember how to use the power, um, power symbol there. Okay, some sort like uh, there umbrella. Okay, uh, close closing umbrella like right that. Okay, so two to the power of five, you will get thirty two. Easy, right? The same as zero point six. Okay, you can put the bracket there, or you just need to key in zero point six. Okay, and then to the power power of 3 and then equals 2 and then you can get answer 0 0.216 okay so i think that's all for today hope that you can understand our lesson today till we meet again in the next video assalamualaikum bye bye